guys, it's Julie. I'm here with Miles. We are just doing some healing in the parking lot before we head in the store. Uh, it's always a good idea once you get out of the car, if it's not too hot or if it's not raining, just get your dog tuned in before you go into the exciting store. Because if you can't get it in the parking lot, you're not going to get it inside the store. So we're just making sure he's nice and tuned in, walking at my pace, at my side. him to do is prioritize me over the exciting smells and everything that he wants to go check out in this store. Um, so again, the heel command just means walk nicely at my left side, follow my left leg, and follow my pace. Of course, I have my e-collar here. Uh, if he lags behind, I'm able to tap my tone. If he goes into the gutter, I can also tap my tone and he should find, there we go, find that spot that's right next to my left leg. Now, if he pushes forward, that's when I tap my stem. If he veers to the left, I can also tap my tone. Remember, the tone is always gonna get him back to your left leg, so that's like a nice little warning, but if he ignores that tone, you've always got your stem. I'm at a level eight. We're on the micro educator e-collar. So that number is something that he just feels, but it's not too high. It's just a reminder. Now, I can always go higher if I need to, but that's the number that he's responding to right now. Doing a great job following that left leg and we're in the exciting store. So once we do some healing around the store a bit, we'll practice a down stay just to make sure he can remain stationary and observant, but not reactive and involved. Good job. So notice I'm the one leading. He doesn't get to decide where we go. He's following me. Good. Puts himself in the down. I'm going to flip the camera around. Stay. So that stay is the warning. If he breaks after that, I would say no and tap my e-collar. The only thing that can get him out of his stationary command is if I release him or if I give him another command. Now, I can take this a step further if I want and get him even more relaxed by putting him in the double down. I can say down again. And if he still doesn't listen or know what to do, I can tap my e-collar again at low levels. Down. Good. So that just relaxes him even more. Not saying that when he's in a down, he always needs to have his chin glued to the ground, but it's a really nice reset and it's a really nice way to say, hey, you might be here a while. Good. And I'm reinforcing that by giving the good, the thumbs up. I can even come pet him. Yes, because he really enjoys that. Okay. okay. And then that was just two taps out of five. Okay, let's try a recall. So I'm gonna recall him using C-O-M-E. He's gonna come towards me. I'm gonna say, good boy, good boy. He should sit her down somewhere in front of my feet. At the same time I give him the recall word, I'm gonna tap my tone button. Come, good boy. Come. Good, down, good. So he went around me, but notice I didn't move this time. I'm gonna keep tapping my tone button until he finds that spot in the vicinity of my legs. Let's try it again. So if you really want to test to see if he's actually listening or if he's just going to guess because he's going to guess that I'm going to recall him because the pattern is I move away after putting him in a stationary command and then recall him. So I'm going to say his name and instead of recalling him, I'm going to put him in a double down. Miles. No. Good. So again, his name does not mean recall. His name means yes, Julie. So really want to avoid saying miles come, miles down, miles sit. It's his name, space, command. Because maybe I just wanted to say good. Miles, good. So we always repeat after a mistake until we can't get the dog to make the mistake again. And again, he's nine, so we expect him to make more mistakes than normal. 
miles down that's it good boy good job so this time i'm gonna release him break good boy <laughs>